we've been waiting for this for a long time. We're getting sentry mode preview with our phones when the alarm state is triggered. Sounds like Tesla is now listening and delivering once again. Speed camera chime, full screen web browsing, auto shift beta update, and one that I'm most intrigued about, hands-free trunk opening and loads more. If you have one of these sexy vehicles, AKA Tesla's Model 3, the Model Y, S, X, or the Cybertruck, congratulations, Christmas has came early for you lots because the Tesla team have cranked up an awesome spring 2024 software update for which you'll get your hands around now. Videos of those down under are already unwrapping their software gift as we speak by the looks of things. So what is there to look forward to and how long will you have to wait? Plus, is there any undocumented features that Tesla didn't announce via their official post? Oh yes, it's hard to believe Tesla condensed the announcement of the new software features and missed out a few juicy extra bits. I will tell you in advance that not all testers are going to qualify for all the enhancements in this software update today, including a new flashy user interface. Therefore, I may disappoint some of you in the process, but fear not, there's still gonna be a lot of enhancements that we've been feeding back to Tesla and they've clearly listened by the announcement. I mean, sentry mode preview via your smartphone, need I say more? So let's waste no further time on the intro. I appreciate if you could just drop me a cheeky like, subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get into this latest software update. Just so you know what you're getting into, I will run through the entire software update itself uh, together with any specific requirements before then picking up some of the biggest additions and how the new features are expected to work and their purpose. And finally wrapping up with those undocumented changes Tesla have made, including the trip progress bar. This might seem subtle, but turn by turn, you'll now actually see a progress bar on the screen that changes as you drive closer to your destination. And that progress bar will also detail live traffic conditions on your route if you have online routing turned on. So that means you'll need premium connectivity to get the most out of this feature, to prevent disappointment at least. That's just one undocumented nugget. Now let's get into the main course. First up, there's major changes to Tesla's user interface for the Model 3 and Model Y vehicles, but only if you have the AMD chip processor, AKA you've taken delivery of a Model 3 or Y within the last two years. So that means RIP to my three and a half year old Model 3 that has an Intel Atom processor. And if you're unsure which processor that you have got in your vehicle, if you wanna head over to the menu bar in your car, software, additional vehicle information, and it should be stored there. This upgrade in visuals is said to provide immersive full screen vehicle controls when the vehicle is parked, like so. Provide larger playback controls, so maybe that's for the golden oldies out there. I've had no complaints on the sizing and quick access to recent and favorites and what's next in the media player apparently. Expandable autopilot driving visuals with a smaller map in the top right for trip guidance. And to make it bigger, you simply swipe left and back if you want to make it small again. Next up, auto shift beta upgrade for 2021 and newer Model S and X owners. So beyond it being useful whilst in park, auto shift beta will apparently now shift between drive and reverse based on your surroundings. I picture this somewhat being more convenient now if you're trying to do a parallel park, uh, three point turns, or just parking in general. Tesla officially said it's just for those S and X owners, but I wouldn't be surprised to see it on the new Model 3 soon. If not during this update, maybe it's gonna be implemented at a later point if it goes well with these S and X owners. Next up is Audible. So if you like to immerse yourself in audiobooks or you're after more podcast choices, well, it will now be available as a native media app. It's a small but smart alternative to the norm that we've already got now. Plus another media upgrade will be some subtle changes to the Spotify app itself. This is now going to finally include the ability to adjust the playback speed and the ability to sync your queue across vehicles and devices. This next feature is somewhat I've heard other Tesla owners ask to improve on, and that's kick to open trunk, except Tesla's version doesn't come at a premium or doesn't require you to kick under the bumper. Apparently you just need the smartphone app key in your pocket, which I think every owner has on their phone, right? 
tester are calling this the hands-free trunk. All you need to do is stand behind your trunk with your phone key and the trunk will open on its own. Sadly, this is limited to 2021 and later Model S and X owners and the upgraded Model 3. But this addition, I will watch with envy because I think it will be a convenient little feature for sure. Particularly, you know, when your hands are full, maybe you've got the kids in both arms or maybe you've got the shopping, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna be a vehicle selling feature itself on its own, but one that adds value in times of need for sure. Whether it will be oversensitive at first or under sensitive, I, I just don't know. We're not gonna be able to judge it properly until it's actually released and in the wild. So I expect there will be some tweaks along the way too. Next up, this is probably the most demanded Tesla software update of all time. Preview a brief clip of the Sentry Mode recording on your phone if alarm is triggered by pressing and holding the notification. Now, as someone whose car has been driven into multiple times while it's parked, one where the Sentry Mode actually captured a hit and run for me, this notification is super useful to see if your car is actually in danger or not. At the moment, when the alarm state is triggered, you get a phone notification for which you can then go into and actually look at Sentry Mode live via the app, which you may have missed the incident itself because you're obviously you looking at it past the alarm being triggered. So this should help clear up if there's actually any need to panic when that notification pops up in the first place. Next up, some efficiency and range enhancing improvements for motorway and highway driving for those with 21 and later Model S and X owners again. Tesla say at high speeds, your vehicle will now allow for more regenerative braking and I don't think many owners will argue with that feature upgrade. The gain's probably going to be small, but it all adds up at the end of the day. Final highlight that Tesla brought forward before we discuss the juicy and documented enhancements is purely for those with rear passenger screens. If you have the navigation running, your rear passenger screen can now show your current trip details, the time and temperature at the top of the touch screen. So this will hopefully help the mandatory are we nearly there yet questions, especially if you're the designated family taxi driver. Moving on to the undocumented upgrades, and I previously mentioned the trip progress bar earlier, but in addition to this feature, there's a whole lot more. So let's go through these. If you're navigating to a destination, your Tesla will now show you at the top of your turn list if there is a better route and a faster route to take. I assume premium connectivity is again required for this one. This faster option now gives you a recommendation to decline it, and if ignored, your Tesla will then reroute you before the option expires. And you can even choose how often you see these suggestions by adjusting the number of minutes saved. The next undocumented change builds on an update that we got in winter 2023, and this was the introduction of the speed camera information in the navigation. And having used that myself, it was only useful if you're actually monitoring the screen. So the introduction of a chime is not only going to be safer, but a staple for the feature to be actually truly useful ahead of approaching a speed camera. This next one is gonna be particularly interesting and I'd love to try this on our smart motorways in general. That is average speed zone monitoring. So when driving through these average speed zones, you're now going to see the average speed in the zone and the distance to it ending. So you can see if you're on the wrong side of the limits before you actually get that penalty letter in the post. Thanks for the heads up Tesla, I guess. The next lot of updates are gonna be self-explanatory, so I won't actually go into plenty of detail to save some time and sanity. Once parked up, your car can now enter the web browser in full screen mode. There's also updates to valley mode, so if your vehicle is unlocked or shifted out of park, you'll now receive a notification on your phone. Finally, for those with the rear screen, it will now switch off if you have no passengers in the seat. The rear touchscreen turns itself off if you shift out of park to reduce the necessary energy usage. Next up is swipe to delete sentry mode recordings, a vampire survivor update and a polytopia update too. If you're one of the very few that has secured a Cybertruck, there's also a few exclusive nuggets that you'll be interested in. First up is the already announced but now finally activated power sharing from vehicle to home. So your Cybertruck should then be able to power your home if you're using a universal wall connector and a power share gateway. And there's also been improvements to the turning circle of the vehicle itself. If the steer by wire was already impressive, it's now been improved by 1.6 feet from the software update apparently. It's pretty wild that this improvement can come from the software, come to think of it. Some other features making its way to the Cybertruck that we already have on the existing fleet is gonna be the cabin heat protection and the new horn and lock sounds together with the colorizer. So nothing too big, but staples been added, I guess. So to conclude, this imminent software update announced by Tesla 
will be welcomed by all owners for sure. Free of charge and overnight, your Tesla is vastly improved. If you're not a Tesla owner, your car ownership experience could benefit from receiving software updates because these incremental additions just add value and practicality to your car. And just prior to filming this video itself, Ford had a surprise software update too for its owners. And this was it. I mean, it's hardly a surprise, but it's something, I guess. If we look at the hands-free trunk option, this is normally a premium add-on for other vehicles. And on occasion, it would require you to either buy it as a, a factory add-on before it's even built, or even potentially you have to upgrade your vehicle trim to actually get this feature. Therefore, this 2024 Tesla software update will make your Tesla feel new and fresh again without costing you a dime. And what's there not to like? What features are you looking forward to? And what features do you think Tesla are missing? What upgrades would you like to see Tesla achieve through the software updates next? Let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, do hit that like button, subscribe, share the video with any friends or family that do find this video beneficial. You think it's been great, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.